Welcome back. Our next toolkit entry here in Chapter 8 is called Parts and Area of Regular Polygons. Over here you have a picture of a regular polygon. In this case it would be a regular octagon. And here are some, uh, some names that you should know about every single regular polygon. First of all we have the center right here in the middle. So that's the center. If you were to draw a straight line out from the center out to one of the eight vertices in this case here, it creates what we call a radius. And the reason why it's called a radius is, is if we were to do that here, we could actually create a circle by keeping that length here. So that's why we call it a radius, because that would be what it is on a circle. We also have another name, which is if you go straight out from the center to one of the sides, creating a right angle, that length it's called a very strange word. It's called an apothem. Apothem. So it's spelled A P O T H E M. And so the basic part of this here is just to let you know these are terms that we use when we talk about regular polygons. But what we're really going to talk about today is how to find the area of a regular polygon. So what I've done is, is I've done this down here. You'll see it, we have a pentagon over here. And on this pentagon, I've made it so that one of the sides is 14 centimeters. And that's all we know, okay? All we know here is that the length of a side is 14 centimeters, and we're going to try to find the area of that. And at first, it looks like a rather challenging problem, but actually it's not. And I'll show you why right now. If you were to put a dot right here in the center, what would happen is, is if we made all the different radiuses here, or radii for plural here, if we went out to each of the vertices here, what happens is, because it's a regular polygon here, and if we make this out here, we know this. If it's a regular polygon, all of these sides are 14 centimeters, okay? And the reason why is because it's regular, it means all the sides are congruent. Also, because these are radii here, we have these sides all being congruent here. And we, what we've done is we've really created a series of triangles. We have five triangles inside this pentagon if we come out from the center. And because in this case here we have side, side, side going, each of them has these pair of congruent uh, sides and one side being 14, these five triangles actually end up being congruent. So basically if we can find the area of one of these triangles, let's say it's the one here at the very bottom, if we know the area of one of them, all we have to do is take that area and multiply by 5. So anytime we have a regular uh, figure, a regular polygon, it, all it is is if you go out from the center, it's a series of congruent triangles. So a pentagon is no more than five congruent triangles combined. If you had an octagon like up here, it would be basically eight different triangles that you would try to discover. So really, that's what we're looking at here, is how to find the area of this one triangle, then multiply by 5. So, other than that, we know these two sides are the same. This side is 14. We can figure out this area here, because that area we've talked about before, that area, I'm sorry, not that area, that angle measurement is called the central angle. And we can find that central angle simply by doing this taking 360 and in this case dividing by 5 because there's five central angles here and 360 divided by 5 is 72 degrees so essentially what we've created here is we have created a triangle I'm going to just go ahead and copy it over here here's my triangle the base is 14 centimeters my angle up here on the top is 72 degrees and all we need to do now is find the area. Well, the only thing missing from this is the is we have the base. We actually need the height. So here's our height right here. And by definition, anytime we draw on a height, it's going to create a right angle here. So we have our base. We need our height, and then we could find the area of that. Because as you know, for our triangle, the area is base times height divided by 2. So what I'm going to do next is, is I'm going to take this triangle that we made here, and I'm just going to look at half of it. So let me draw that down here. So here's just one half. In this case, it's the left half. It doesn't really matter what half you pick. But if all the way across is 14, it makes it so half of it would be 7. So this is 7 centimeters down here. And this angle up here is no longer 72. It's half of 72. Well, half of 72 is 36 degrees. So this angle right here is 36 degrees because that's half of 72. 
Now in this case here, we still want to find the height, and it's a right triangle. So what we can use is our knowledge of right triangles. And we're going to use tangent here. And what we're going to say is tangent of 36 degrees, this is opposite over here, equals opposite over adjacent, which is the hypotenuse here. Now when we solve here for h, we wind up with h equals 7 divided by tangent 36 degrees. And when we use our calculator, I just grab it right here, I got 9.63. So now if I'm talking about finding the area of this triangle here, this one that's shaded here in yellow, I have my base, my base is 14. I have my height, it's 9.63, and I'm in business. So to find the area of the triangle, all I have to do is, is take my base, which is 14 centimeters, multiply by my height, which is 9.63 centimeters, and divide by 2. Grab my calculator, and when I do that, I get 67.41 centimeters. Well, that's just one of these triangles. So how do I find the area of the entire pentagon? So if I want to find the area of my pentagon, all I do now is, is I take the area of that one triangle, which is 67.41, and I multiply by 5. And when you do that, you get 337.05, and it ends up being square centimeters. Don't forget your units there. So once again, all this is is it's a series of congruent triangles here. And if you can find the area of just one of them, you can multiply by the number of sides. In this case, it's five, and you're in business, and you'll get the answer every time.